Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of, in case you didn't know, Settlement Survival. In this video, I'll discuss what supply chains are and how they affect production. In addition, I'll go over efficient settlement layouts based around logistics. And lastly, I'll show how unlocking logistic tech points enhances the quality of supply chains. Let's get started. First, let's define some key terms that will be used throughout this video. Supply chain. This is the sequence involved in the production and distribution of goods. As a general example of a supply chain, first, raw materials will get gathered and transported to a storage. Next, they will get taken to a production building and processed into a new item. That same item will be taken back to a storage. Lastly, that item will be picked up and brought to a marketplace where settlers in need of that item can take it. This process is the supply chain, and it's something happening in everyone's settlement whether or not we're aware of it. Logistics is the transportation and storage of goods. This includes all the workers and facilities involved in the moving of items in between each sequence of a supply chain. Now that I have defined these two terms, Let's break down in detail a supply chain using iron tools as an example. Iron tools need timber and iron ore to be produced. Workers will then transport both the iron ore and timber to a nearby storage. Then, blacksmith will retrieve the materials and bring them back to the smithy and process them into iron tools. Once the blacksmith's personal inventory gets filled to capacity, they will deposit the tools to a nearby storage. Lastly, a vendor will retrieve the iron tools and place it at the marketplace to be picked up by any settlers in need of a new tool. Logistics is any time an item is moved or stored in a supply chain. Better logistics improve the efficiency of your overall supply chain. The goal is to keep workers producing rather than traveling excessively to destinations between each chain. The layout of your settlement directly affects the efficiency of your supply chains. This can be very beneficial if properly laid out at the beginning of a new settlement. Here are some things to keep in mind. First, all settlements begin with a durable storage yard and a marketplace. That marketplace is a structure that provides food, clothes, tools, and other resources to your settlers. The marketplace is generally the center of your early settlement due to it being at the end of your supply chains. Try to keep your homes near that marketplace so the settlers can easily take what they need from it. Don't worry about your layouts looking messy, you can always move things later. The buildings that tend to be further away are the forests or huts, mines, and any other buildings that have to be built on water. The durable storage yard next to the marketplace helps the vendors by reducing their travel time to get items for the marketplace. By placing additional stockpiles near production buildings further away, you can cut down the travel times of workers when they go drop off their goods. Even your laborers will benefit from having stockpiles near the outskirts of your town, since they don't have to walk as far to drop off items, then return to work. What slows your production are when settlers go home to eat, rest, warm up, get injured, or replace equipment. Be sure to keep marketplaces, homes, clinics, and storages near production buildings to minimize time wasted traveling. Even having boiler rooms near production as a faster way to get warm and better roads to increase your citizen walk speeds are additional ways to reduce wasted time. Don't worry if it seems like a lot to balance. Experiment with your own layouts to see what works best for you. Logistics is something that takes trial and error to learn. The logistics tech tree adds buildings and jobs to improve the efficiency of supply chains. In no particular order, here are some tech points that will enhance your supply chains. As mentioned earlier, where you place your storage is important, but the capacity of those storages also matter. As your town grows, so the amount of goods you are producing. When a storage gets full, workers will have to take those goods to a storage further away, slowing down production. 
The storage tuck points are as follows. Warehouses. These can fit more than a storage yard of the same size and can nearly double its capacity with the expansion upgrade. Durable storage yards. While these do not hold as much as a warehouse per tile, it has the advantage of being flexible with its size. Cellars have a much larger capacity and can even be upgraded twice. The cellar is also immune to storms, making it a good way to protect your goods. Mountain storage and storage centers are the largest storage buildings in the game, but are intended for late game due to the materials required to build. The storage center can be built freely, just like any other storage building, while the mountain storage can only be built on, well, mountains, making their placements a little more tricky to utilize. A cool trick you can do with all storages is you can filter what is allowed inside by categories, like food or construction materials. That way, you can place designated storages for specific productions, like a storage to hold the crops that your farms produce. Unfortunately, at the time that this video was posted, you cannot filter by specific items, only by categories. Hopefully, this is changed in a future update. Transfer station tech enhances the logistics function of a supply chain by both serving as a storage and by providing a means to move goods to other storages. The transfer station workers try to keep it empty by transporting items to other storages. Transfer stations placed near raw material productions allow those goods to be sent out to storages closer to production buildings. They can also be used near production buildings to send out finished products to storages and marketplaces further away. Just like regular storages, the transfer station can also filter what goods can be placed inside. Combining that with filters from storage buildings, this allows you to be able to send goods to specific locations in your settlement. The supply station tech is a powerful logistics building. Suppliers can bring goods into multiple production buildings. This speeds up production by removing the responsibility from workers who can now focus on just processing goods. As your settlement grows and you are producing a more variety of goods, it becomes a good idea to create production districts of similar products. An example of a production district may look like this. With a supply station in the middle, you can have a smithy, tailor, and chopping house processing goods, while suppliers simultaneously keep all of those inventories filled as their workers produce. Larger supply stations that have more workers can efficiently provide for even more buildings at a time. Supply stations provide the logistics function by retrieving the indicated goods and delivering them to production buildings allowing the supply chain to handle the production of a larger variety of goods. The inventory tax improve your supply chain in a more subtle way. Here is a quick chart displaying the inventory items and how much they can carry. Since workers keep producing until their inventories are filled, expanding their personal capacities mean that they will work longer to produce more goods before delivering them to the nearest storage or transfer station. In addition, the animal power tech adds another 500 capacity increase by allowing the use of donkeys or horses on select buildings. This helps buildings like transfer and large supply stations by allowing workers to move more goods at once. The last remaining tech points are pretty simple. The small marketplace functions the same as its larger counterpart except that they employ half as many vendors, have a smaller inventory, and take up less space. This makes them ideal for housing smaller residential areas or to provide production buildings quicker access to replacement supplies. The delivery tech adds a small enhancement to a supply chain by now allowing vendors to deliver goods such as food, water, and fuel to homes. No longer will settlers have to restock their homes themselves. And the marketplace expansion simply increases the coverage zone to service additional homes. To summarize what we have covered, supply chains are the systems that bring everything you produce to their final destination, 
and efficient layouts allow the logistics of your supply chain to provide goods to your whole settlement. And the logistics tech tree gives you more tools to further enhance your supply chains with larger storage buildings and facilities that specialize in moving items. And that's the end of the video. Hopefully I was able to explain things well even though it's a lot to cover. The next video we have in mind is a lot more early game and beginner friendly, so subscribe to not miss out on that. We put so much work into this video and it took way longer than expected to release, so any feedback would be very appreciated. Thank you guys for watching and good luck with your settlements. Till next time.